Hey and welcome back to Toby's Real Skills with Toby. Me. In today's video, we want to talk about a potential new GUI, which stands for Graphical User Interface, for Venus S. You heard it correct. So, this is what we see when you connect either uh, via remote onto the Raspberry Pi with Venus S installation. But this is also what you see when you connect a display to it. I saw in a couple of those Facebook groups um, talking about Victron and Venus S that it is currently or looks like it's changing maybe there's a better version out there so i thought okay cool give it a try it's pretty simple um so they said this is the link to it so you have the ip address slash gui dash better and then you just connect to it so that's what i did and with my version uh, i'm running this the stable latest version 3.01 of venus s at the moment and it's obviously not available because it looks like it's only in development and it's only in a better version available so I'm using my test equipment, my Raspberry Pi 4. I want to test it. I want to see if I also have access to it and what it looks like and want to share it with you. Because maybe there's some change coming down the road. Who knows? So what does it mean? Um, go to your installation of Venus OS, either on your display, on the console, or connect via your browser, put an IP address in it, and then connect to it via remote. Here we have my Raspberry Pi 4 with Venus OS 3.01. I'll go to settings, go to firmware, and then we go to online updates. Most likely in your installation, latest release is um, what's in there. And when you check if there's a new version available, it will say no new version available as of today. Maybe there's something coming. Um, so you have to go into the update feed, say latest release candidate. Be careful when you do that disclaimer. This might be a not stable version. You might screw up your entire installation. Don't do it on your production system because that might screw up things. Just saying, I'm testing it on a test device where nothing else is connected. So I do that, then check for updates. And I can see, oh, there is something available. And I will update it. Um, no way back. Maybe there's some way to reward, I think. But I'll do it. Rebooting. All right, give it a try. Reconnect. All right, we're back. I do not know if everything works um, with the setup helper, but we'll see if it happens in a moment. So that's why there's a reconnect, most likely. Hopefully it's getting back up. All right, let's see, reconnect. Oh, cool, nice. Setup helper is back up online. We can see Raspberry Pi processor temperature, package installed, and then we have also my two um, wire, one wire temperature sensors connected to it, and they also came back up. That's good. The only thing what I don't see is GPS. Si uh, signal here, but um, so let's go into settings firmware. Let's double check what we're running on, and we can see yes, there's a 310 build 23, I guess. Pretty cool. Check if there's an update, no new version. Awesome. Stored backup firmware. Oh, cool. Okay, so we could revert and go back to the 301 if we need to do more stable version. Awesome. Okay, so. I'll do the same. I'll use the IP address slash GUI dash beta. Hit enter. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Looks like something's happening. I have no idea how long we have to wait. There was a lot of excitement when I started, and it's still connecting. Probably two minutes in. Oh, by the way, in the meantime, GPS. Seems to be reconnected. That works as well again. When I look at a Raspberry Pi 4 installation a few seconds ago, so that's good. Huh. Alright. Bummer enough. Um, I'm even trying now a different browser, in this case, uh, Microsoft Edge. Uh, but it looks like in this better version, it does not work for me, wherever. I mean, it's a better version, so um, we should know about that, but it doesn't work for me, sadly. Maybe you can test it, maybe it works for you, maybe um, they disable it, maybe there's something wrong with the better version, who knows? Um, we don't have a lot of information about that, but that's what it looks should look like. So I'm having some screenshot in here. Um, bummer enough for me that it didn't work, sorry about that, but uh, maybe there is something coming up pretty soon. I'll give it a test when there is a new version. And uh, then we'll see if it works. Um, let me let me know in the comments section below if it works for you and what it might look like for you. So maybe I was doing something wrong or didn't activate something. So maybe you can help me with that. That's all for this time. 
So thanks for watching. See you next time. Tschüss.